Hello and a warm welcome to the latest edition of Ecoad Africa here from Abeokuta in Nigeria. I'm Nelta Igbe. And I'm Sharon Momani from Nairobi, Kenya. Today we have a glittering array of new environmental ideas for you. Today we go to Sabo National Park in Kenya where you will meet Patrick Mwalua, a man with a mission. And we show you how farmers in Zimbabwe are battling climate change with new ways of agriculture. Zimbabwe's farmers face a lot of challenges, sandy and infertile soils, climate change, and most recently, a new invasive and highly destructive pest. On top of that, there are an estimated 3 million people in the country without access to reliable food supplies. But there's also hope. New stress-resistance maize varieties and improved agricultural techniques could help the farmers to achieve the yields that they need to survive. Lazarus Nzembe looks at his field with disbelief. Last year, a drought withered the maize. Now, excessive rain has drowned most of his harvest. This unpredictable weather makes survival tougher with each passing year. We are still finding it difficult to adjust to climate change. In this farming season, we planted our maize seed, and unfortunately, part of it died off because there was so much rain. And things are continuing to get worse. Nothing will come out of this crop here. Yeah. This is just nothing. Agronomists at a renowned crop research institute in Harare inspect a trial field. The fall armyworm, an invasive species, has done a lot of damage here and throughout the country. It's estimated that about a tenth of the maize crop is affected. Insecticides have been used to contain the pest, but the scientists say only a balanced ecosystem with natural pest predators can ensure success in the future. We work with other partners on biological control of the pest and also through agronomic measures like conservation agriculture, intercropping, integration of trees that increase the diversity in the landscape and also help to control pests in a biological way. Meanwhile, climate change continues to threaten Zimbabwe's farmers. But hope is rising high in this village in Zvimba district. The region's farmers have all suffered harvest losses. Now, representatives from the Ministry of Agriculture and a private seed production company say they have a solution, a new variety of maize. Its brand name is Zap 61. The hybrid of traditional maize varieties is better adapted for both drought and excessive rain. It's said to yield 20 to 30 percent more than conventional maize. Lazarus and Zembe and other farmers are interested but cautious. The new maize requires new farming techniques, and it's more expensive. And the farmers would also have to spend money to fertilize the soil. Overall, I think this is a good maize seed. However, I might have to buy four sacks of fertilizer for my one hectare of maize. Other farmers have already changed to the new maize variety. Philbert Moroe thinks farmers should try something new in order to achieve better results. What really astonished me is that on the two hectares worth that I planted, AgriSeed Zap 61 outperforms the other alternative varieties with the same maturity dates. The results are quite impressive. Zap 61 is up to 25 percent more expensive than traditional maize varieties. The scientists back in Harare have developed their own new maize varieties. 
They say that since the soil in many parts of Zimbabwe is not very fertile, maize farmers have to move away from monoculture. If you rotate it with other crops, legumes, like cow peas, pigeon peas, soybeans, groundnuts, you can reduce pests and diseases and overall improve the soil fertility. For Lazarus Nzembe and his wife Patricia, it's decision time. Whether to just hope that next season climate change will not hit them as hard again, or to embrace new technologies that come at a price. So now let's move to your region, NT. In your neighboring country, Niger, we have a role model on how to turn waste into something useful. Yes, Sharon, as you know, trash is a big problem in almost all of African countries. But we can draw a little comfort from the fact that one woman's initiative from Niamey as the capital of Niger Republic is doing its bit to combat the problem by turning old tires into floor cushions. Let's take a look at how this works. Niger's capital, Niamey, has no regular garbage collection. So trash is often burned at illegal dumping sites. When rubber tires burn, they release toxic substances. Environmental activist Amina Issa Ado has found a brilliant way to recycle tires, thereby creating jobs for local youths. Her recipe? Take a tire, wrap it in foam rubber, and decorate it with beautiful fabrics. That makes a seat cushion in the traditional style of the Sahel region. They sell for 22 euros a piece. The tourists and other customers who buy them say these cushions are more comfortable and even last longer than traditional ones. It's no wonder they're made of rubber. like that. If you are also doing your bit, tell us about it. Visit our website or send us a tweet. Hashtag doing your bit. We share your stories. Yeah!